Hey everyone, welcome to the Gaming X. Today we're going to be taking a look at our review for Inner Space on the Xbox One. For those interested, it has also been released on the PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Now, Inner Space is an exploration flying game set in the Inverse. This is a world of reverse planets where gravity pulls out and the worlds surround you in a 360 degrees dome. You're going to discover ancient skies, relics and even find yourself underwater as you are tasked with discovering the lost history of these planets where gods still walk amongst you. So quickly before we jump in, if you like what you see today then hit like and even consider hitting subscribe. It really does help the videos and the channel. In return, we will ensure we deliver new reviews and news every Monday, Thursday and Saturday. With that being said, let's jump in and see if Inner Space is worth adding to your collection. So I want to start this review slightly differently, going through my anticipation for this title. I'll be honest, like most people, the graphics were the immediate area which gained my attention, and we will touch on them shortly, but combine that with the science fiction nature of the storyline and flight gameplay, and I was ready to drop my dollars on this one. The more we approached release, however, the more I had concerns. Now granted, these were concerns based on an unfair comparison to No Man's Sky, but it was there now and I couldn't get rid of the idea at the back of my mind. I'd been in this position before, so I pulled back my expectations as much as I could. Now if anyone had No Man's Sky day one, you know what I'm talking about. With that covered, let's take a look. Let's start with the graphics because it's going to be short. They are incredible. The screenshots pre-release were beautiful, but here seeing them come to life is an experience all in its own. It's rare you see artwork for a game and the actual gameplay match up so closely. It's an animated painting that while low in detail, accomplishes something wholly unique and stylistic. I never felt like I was missing out on anything because of the minimal textures and design. I was seeing exactly what was intended, what was necessary. They've realized a minimalist style intentionally in a video game to fantastic effort. I can't make a single comparison to any other title out there. To reinforce the beautiful design is a layer of color, amplified, which immediately reels you in. These are bright, vibrant colours which reinforce the alien landscape. It's a fantastic work from the design team here, and a true credit to their graphical artist's ability. So gameplay. I learnt a long time ago that graphics are not everything, so let's jump into the gameplay. Does it stand up to the graphics? Yes and no. You'll start the game at your creation, a relic of years gone, named the Cartographer. You immediately meet the architect, a submarine of sorts who created you and requires your help with investigating and discovering relics from these connected worlds and those contained demigods. The game immediately throws you into the bulk of the gameplay flying and it feels fantastic. The ship's very responsive with standard 360 degree controls and there's a few additionals there too, boost, dive and drift for those tighter corners. You'll also be introduced to abilities you can use such as cutting rope with your wings and piloting underwater as your wings collapse and you turn into a submersible. As you progress, these skills will become instrumental in progression. The game from the opening few moments makes its intentions apparent. This is a somber playthrough for gamers looking for wholly unique and relaxing experiences and it may not be what players expect from screenshots. Similar in fact to No Man's Sky, except this was the intention here. For those that do remember that No Man's Sky marketing, they simply screwed us with poor and false information. Now if you did enjoy Flower previously or maybe Journey, this could very well be the game for you and that's by far the closest comparison I can make. There's no real danger, no fear, no combat as such, just discovery missions mixed with the occasional character interaction. There's also a ton of fetch quests here over and over. Unfortunately, unlike games like Journey, Inner Space bookends the experience with minor frustration and learning curves. Opening the game, I personally found myself disorientated and lost as I tried to navigate these domes that surrounded me. 
Now this of course passes as you adapt to the environment, but with each new location it will take you some time again to find your bearings. Having no horizon is more impactful than I anticipated, and while I wouldn't consider it a problem with the game, I would pre-warn you that it will take you some time to get used to because it's just such a huge part of this experience. A bit more guidance may have been a great design decision here, or even some form of auto return would have been useful as a launch point in each world. Then, because of the somber nature of this title towards the end, boredom and repetition started to kick in. Unfortunately, I did not time my run with this one, but I just couldn't help but feel we would have been happier with a few less fetch quests, a few more puzzles, and a tighter wrap up time to the storyline. Overall, this is like a form of stress relief. I loved flying around these worlds, I loved solving the mystery and puzzles at hand, but just occasionally disorientation would break this for me and I started to lose interest as repetition kicked in. A particular type of gamer is required for this one, but I can say I personally enjoyed my time with Inner Space, except for these few minor gripes. Personally, I do prefer too much over too little. So let's talk about the audio. And it's another great success for the game, the subdued electronica supporting the worlds is perfect. It embodies the locations adding to the environments, and in conjunction building upon the relaxation the title provides. I visited the Inner Space website where you can listen to the tracks on Soundcloud. Now even if you decide this is not the game for you, I would at a minimum check out the soundtrack. It's a fantastic piece of work that deserves your time, and right now you can listen to it for free. Finally, sound effects, and they are minimal. They however do more than enough to support the visuals on screen. One area that didn't quite work for me was the tone of the dialogue. The game has no focal recordings, which was in my opinion the best move, as this could risk immersion to this alien world being broken. I'm just not sure it was necessary to include bleeps, largely reminiscent of the Game Boy days. Overall, audio, the soundtrack is fantastic, but the sound effects could do with a bit more work. As we close this out, let's finish off with the story, and as with the rest of this game, it's a slow burner. Tasked with collecting relics and exploration, your main objective is discovering the history of these worlds, and the demigods that inhabit it. I can't say it's the most engaging story, and this is again down to that overall pacing of the title. It does enough to keep you interested in the gameplay, but I never found myself rushing back to find out the next piece of the puzzle in the storyline directly. I was confused at a number of points throughout, but it does bring everything together at the end at least. So the final verdict, an inner space is a game made for a very specific audience. This is the aerial version of Journey and it can be compared very closely to Flower in a number of ways. The story here did lack some engagement, but the relaxing gameplay alongside the beautifully designed world did go the majority of the way to make up for this. With some issues with pacing however, and it staying a little bit too far outside its welcome, I can't fully recommend this title except for those who have a passion for these relaxed format games. The Gaming X Awards Inner Space, a 6 out of 10. Thanks so much for watching today, if you like this video then hit subscribe, hit like. It helps this channel and this video in a huge amount of ways. We'll see you on the next Gaming X.